What's up YouTube, this is Sky Pokemon and welcome back to another video. So uh, today's video we are going to talk about the Black Box 3.0 which is also known as the Precious Box Collection. This really, really big box I have over here which we've opened on the channel. But before we get into it, remember the like button, hit the subscribe button, let me know in the comment section what you guys think. So um, first of all, I want to go into a little bit of a history with these black boxes. And then I would like to make a comparison in terms of whether some of these black boxes are more precious, more precious, <laughs> if there is, isn't a English counterpart for this card. And um, what I think that even when there is an English counterpart, what will happen to the investability of this box. So three parts. All right, part one is going to be the history of black boxes. Currently, there has been three black boxes that have been released. The first one was originated in the 20th anniversary Team Rocket box. We call it Black Box 1.0. That box is currently going for around $8,000 to $10,000 right now. There hasn't been a lot of sale, not publicly. There's some private sale that I've known of um, and so on. That box is quite unique. There are two unique artwork of Giovanni as well as Team Rocket. Um, both cards are actually really, really nice looking. Uh, I particularly like the Team Rocket one and that's why when I bought it, I actually bought the PSA 10 version of that card uh, at quite a cheap price if you look back. I bought it for around 200 to 300 US dollar, somewhere along that line. Now, knowing the success of this box, when Black Box 2.0 aka Battle Master Limited Edition Collection Box was released, uh, I knew it was going to be a good set. I knew it was going to do really well, you know, with the Pikachu as well as the Gala, not Galarian, Alolan, Alolan Friends. So um, I went all in, I bought like 8 to 10 boxes, and then I bought some, what, like 5 sets of individual cards, somewhere along that line. Um, and it, it aged really well. I actually made a video on YouTube telling people that when it was $400 on eBay, I told you guys to go buy it because it would definitely go up in price. The current market price for that box is currently $2,400 US dollar. So, um, hey, yeah, I called it. So um, that's that. Now for the Black Box 3.0, people are very, very skeptical. People are very skeptical whether it's going to be like Black Box 1.0 and Black Box 2.0, simply because of the size of the print run, as well as how there is going to be an English counterpart for the same card. Now I really want to bring you guys to the attention of the timing in which this Black Box 3.0 was up for pre-order and release. In comparison to this guy here, the golden box of the 25th anniversary. Now, the golden box of the 25th anniversary, uh, I wouldn't say it's doing bad, but it's really slow in terms of the monetary growth or the capital growth. And that is because this golden set was released uh, in Chinese and then it was later released in English. In Singapore, there was a, so many different languages, places, location that was releasing a similar pattern, a similar type of box. Not to mention, this was the first time when Pokemon Japan decided to do something called made to order. So there was a time when after the first wave, there was a second wave of these, which you guys can order on Amazon. And then I think that they've been delivered and now they're all gone, done, done with. And so the actual end of production of this golden box product was very recent actually, most likely three to five months old. So that's why we're not seeing a big jump in the price of this box just yet. Um, and I think it is very, very similar to the black box 3.0, which we have here. There was one first wave, it was gone right away. There was a second wave. Uh, on the Pokemon Center and you know it, it took a while before that second wave was gone so I do think that uh, the second wave of this actually hasn't arrived so I think that the price will have the pressure to go down a little from this point on now whether Pokemon company could decide to bring out the second wave that, that's a different story or would they cancel the order that's a different story but I do think that you know for the precious box collection 
I would wait and see because there is a possibility that there's going to be a, 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 a second wave coming out which was pre-ordered before and you know for me I've actually ordered some for the second wave as well so I would definitely be waiting to see if this box if there's more wave of this box coming um, yeah now in terms of investability the black box 2.0 I do see it as The content wise is actually worse in this box there's so much more in this box than in the black box 3.0 but the concept the, the, the packaging the the, the the artwork the exclusive exclusivity it looks I think that the black box 3.0 will outdo the golden box or if if anything they'll be on par with the golden box uh, in the short to medium term what I also think that is that many of you guys will ask Hey, collect Pokemon. You know that they're gonna release the card on Crown Zenith, you know, as a secret rare, right? You know, that's definitely gonna affect the price of the card, affect the price of the box, right? If you asked me this question three years ago, I would say yes, it will. Um, because I always thought that, you know, collectors will always buy the cheaper option if there's a cheaper option. Because back then I was a collector. I was the one that would definitely go for the cheaper version because it's just cheaper. It looks the same. Well, very similar. But after delting or coming into the hobby world for a much longer time, uh, I realized it's not the case. Sometimes people doesn't care about the cheaper version. All they know is that the Japanese version was more difficult to get. The Japanese version doesn't have a yellow border. The Japanese version had better texturing. You know, they will find any ways to distinguish the difference between the Japanese version and the English version. And because of that, we are seeing this divergent of prices. I mean, the waifu card in the English set are so dirt cheap in comparison to the waifu card in the Japanese side. They're so darn expensive. Um, and even things like Chinese, Thai, Korean, all these language, they all have their unique niche. And I think that that's the thing uh, that is happening. It doesn't really matter whether there is an English counterpart. Yes, there will be some individual, some low-end collector that is happy, low-end collector like me, that is just happy to you know, own this piece of artwork. But there will also be these high-end collectors that want that exclusivity. They want to be unique. They want to tell the world, I have the Japanese version while you, you have your yellow border English version stuff. So, that's what is happening. I mean, we see it time over time. Charles R. V. Max competition cards versus the uh, Charles R. V. Max in Shining Fates. You know, you know, huge difference. We don't see the price of the championship card dropping because of the Shining Fates Charles R. V. Max. We don't or with a champion's pack. One of them. We don't. We do see the 25th anniversary birthday Pikachu in Japanese. The charts are base set in Japanese for the 25th anniversary. Those cards are high in price. If you look back at the English counterpart, they're dirt cheap. So no one really cares. Look at the uh, competition card for the Evolution, the Flareon, Vaporeon, and Jolteon. You know, there's uh, the English counterparts, you know, they're still selling them at Target right now. Um, yeah, those are dirt cheap in English, but in the Japanese set, they're still valued very highly. And I think that's, that's, that's what's going to go uh, happen over time. And I think that, you know, it's going to carry on. There will always be a Japanese niche. There will be Japanese market. So even if there is an English counterpart, I wouldn't worry about it. Honestly, I, I, I simply wouldn't worry about it. I would look at them individually instead of interchangeably. And even if I do look at interchangeably, I think that what is going to happen is actually it's going to distinguish itself from the English even better. The easier it is to get in English and the harder to get in Japanese, that disparity would definitely push the card up even higher for the Japanese sites. So um, yeah, I'm quite optimistic, uh, optimistic on the Black Box 3.0. Um, I do think that I will definitely wait until the second wave have released um, before making my purchase. I think that that $400 range is still a little high for this box right now. 
I do think that there is room to drop, but that room is going to be around what, 380, 400. So if you don't want to wait for it to drop, you don't want to just always you know, check in your eBay. And if you have 50 extra dollars to ditch, just buy it now. Just buy it now and you know, wait and see. But there is one thing that you have to note. These boxes, they are not sealed in a way that these boxes are sealed. The, uh, if you go into my opening um, earlier on, these boxes are just sealed with a taped, uh, taped cover, something like that. So it's not shrink wrap. So when you're buying this, make sure that they are not open before because some people or some places may kick out the card and then you know put it back in the box you know you never know so make sure you buy from more reputable seller and uh, make sure you know try to get it to be an unopened one and so on so um, yeah that's pretty much it for this video let me know in the comment section what you guys think uh, do you guys think that hey you know it's 450 is acceptable kind of price range I'll buy it um, or are you gonna wait and see if there's a second wave or you're like hey no collect Pokemon you're wrong I'll definitely get the English card because I'm a you know I'm a cheap collector like me right so um, you know really depends let me know I'll catch you guys in the next one peace this is collect Pokemon bye bye